I hope you heard all the red-winged blackbirds singing around. Spring is definitely nipping at our heels. The red-shouldered hawks are calling and mating. Doves are showing signs of courtship. The buds on the trees are swelling, just like we talked about last week with the red maple. And then I am showing you, as best as I can, a glimpse of American elm buds doing the exact same thing. So a lot of these early trees, as we already noted, are wind pollinated, but also offer floral resources for pollinators. Now on the red maple, I've learned they offer both nectar and pollen. Pollen offers protein and lipids and nectar offers carbohydrates, so energy. On the elms, I'm not quite sure. They definitely offer pollen, which all sorts of pollinators use, but I'm not quite sure on nectar. There's very little information available from reputable sources. So if you happen to actually really know, let me know. But elms are super early and these swelling buds are great food for squirrels. Fox squirrels and gray squirrels are chowing down on them. We actually don't have gray squirrels right around here. I read that we have a lot of fox squirrels and red squirrels here and I'm sure flying, but we never see them. But they love to eat these big buds and then the flowers and the seeds. Elms are pretty cool in that they offer a tremendous wildlife value. The leaves are eaten by deer and by groundhogs and by all sorts of Lepidoptera. As many of you know, they have Dutch elm disease at some point in their life now. And so they operate differently in the ecosystem than they used to, but they still produce these fruits that are cherished by mammals and birds and then once the bark starts sloughing off they create homes for all sorts of other critters like bats and if you're in brown creeper territory then the brown creepers will nest under there they don't nest around here i wish they did but they don't so elms are certainly somebody to consider for wildlife landscaping around your house Remember the flowers on all of these woodies that we're talking about are before everybody else. Here in our part of the country anyways, even the spring ephemerals. So I'm gonna soon get to some that are much closer and you can see them better. <laughs> but I know even on this zoom right here, you can see some big oblong swellings and that's the buds of the elm. So don't forget about the woodies keep letting us know what you're observing on them and we'll keep watching because we are learning a ton as we do this which is super fun.